Welcome back to Automotive Territory. We continue exploring the Museum of Automaking, and today's exhibit pieces are sport utility vehicles from the days long gone. Restored to the factory condition or heavily modified to meet modern road standards, these retro SUVs are reserved for the true admirers of the class who do not accept the generic designs of contemporary models. So subscribe to our channel and enjoy the timeless classics with traditional body and frame construction and superb off-road capabilities. Let's start the engines. Gateway Bronco Lux GT The Lux GT series remains Gateway's most advanced offering, promising to deliver the performance and luxury feel close to modern sports SUVs. For a $400,000 asking price, the Illinois-based company restores the donor car from the ground up keeping the original looks of the 1966 Bronco almost intact. For this build, though, Gateway decided to add LED lights, a revised front bumper, and flares on the wheel arches. It is a completely different story under the skin, where nearly every component is from 2023. Built on an entirely new chassis, the Lux GT features an independent suspension, upgraded axles, and a dual-mode exhaust with ceramic coating and large disc brakes at all four corners. Like any modern-day SUV, the Lux GT comes standard with driving aids, including electronic stability control, anti-lock brakes, and electronic traction control. The power comes from a high-performance 5-liter V8, which is connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. The vintage-looking Bronco benefits from full-time all-wheel drive and can hit 60 miles per hour from a standstill in 5.3 seconds. Velocity K5 Blazer Best known for their Ford Bronco Resto mods, this Florida-based company is now getting into restoration of one of the all-time favorite Chevrolets, the Blazer. Their project is a take on the 1969-1972 models, underpinned by the RS4 chassis from Roadster Shop, fitted with Dana 44 fronts and Dana 60 rear axles, sway bars, and coilover shocks from Fox. The wheels measure 18 inches, come wrapped in 35-inch tires from BF Goodrich or Toyo, and house Wellwood disc brakes at all four corners. The exterior of the model depends on the chosen edition. The base signature SUV brings BASV glass red paint, chrome accessories, JW speaker LED headlights, and Mickey Thompson polished wheels. The Heritage model adds a two-tone exterior, steel wheels, paint-matched bumpers, and wet sand treatment. Under the hood, the fifth-generation LT1 V8 with a 6.2-liter displacement produces 455 horses and comes paired to the 10-speed automatic a two-speed transfer case and a custom performance exhaust. Unlike the original K5s that came standard with one seat and without a roof, Velocity Blazer accommodates four people, while still offering the roof as an optional extra. Its cabin features color-matched carpet and Velocity floor mats, leather upholstery for the heritage models, vintage AC, and a modern Bluetooth stereo with vocal speakers. Nineteen seventy five Jeep Cherokee S. The Texas based Vigilante four x four breathes new life into the fifty year old Jeep Cherokee without ruining its original charm. The old fellow has seen its body stripped down to the bare metal and then given a completely new custom built chassis, which allowed Vigilante to incorporate modern upgrades and a bigger powertrain. Under its hood now lies a six point four liter Hemi V eight engine that produces 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque. The 8-cylinder is linked with a 6-speed manual transmission from Tremec, while the power is distributed between the four wheels, which is a courtesy of the reinforced Atlas II transfer case and Dana 44 and Dana 60 axles, front and rear. Other notable mechanical upgrades include an off-road suspension with Fox Racing shocks, a HydroTech braking system, modern power steering, an upgraded cooling system, and new 
high-flow exhaust manifolds. To keep the 1970s feel intact, Vigilante chose classic two-tone paint with a glacier white stripe, plus light brown leather upholstery from more angels, complemented with flower pattern accents. Modern vibes are provided by the vintage Air Magnum 5 climate control and a JL 6-speaker audio system. Classic Overland – The Tosha Ghost After exploring the great African continent behind the wheel of a Defender 110, Stab and Horn returned home to America and founded Classic Overland with two of his friends. Operating from Macon, Georgia, the trio combined their expertise and for the past dozen of years have been recovering Classic Land Rovers and turning them into 100% legal and off-road capable vintage SUVs. This unit and its unique Porsche chalk finish were inspired by the huge elephants who roamed the Namibian desert, called the Atosha Ghost. The base vehicle for the restoration is the Defender 110 station wagon. It was equipped for a hardcore expedition with LED spots, a front runner roll cage, 16 inch sawtooth wheels, and oversized Maxxis Bighorn tires. The SUV is motivated by a repowered 3.5-liter gasoline V8, coupled with a 5-speed manual. The interior of the Toshi Ghost Defender is finished with Alcantara upholstery in African sand color. There are weatherproof floor rubber mats, Dynamat sound proofing, Canwood Garmin 7-inch LCD infotainment, and a JBL 6-speaker audio with a subwoofer. If you want to see more videos exploring retro car models, then make sure to check out the suggested episodes in the description, smash the like button, and ask for more in the comment section below. Let's proceed. Corsetti Cruisers FJ62 A team of passionate car enthusiasts from Gordana, California has developed their own recipe to restore classic 4x4s and it came to be known as Corsetti Cruisers. The most unique aspect of this build is that under the body of the awesome-looking FJ62 Toyota Land Cruiser actually hides a 1996 Land Cruiser 80 series frame. This brings much higher comfort and handling characteristics, ensured by 4-link and EMU suspension, high-end CV and front and rear drive shafts. This Corsetti gets a full chrome package and appears to be riding on the original steel FG60 15-inch wheels. In reality, though, the installed units are CC'd aluminum 17-inchers wrapped in 33 by 11.5-inch BF Goodrich KU2 tires. The engine swap brings the traditional LS3 small block V8 that gives this 4x4 430 horsepower and is coupled with a 5-speed manual or a 4-speed automatic. Corsetti also makes sure that the Slang Cruiser FJ62 feels brand new and modern on the inside, with a carefully restored interior, advanced hi-fi sound system, and a touchscreen multimedia. Mayer's Manx 2.0 EV in spite of its name, the new Manx represents the third iteration of the iconic Doom buggy-like off-road vehicle with the roots dating back to the 1970s. A year before his passing at the age of 94, the company's founder Bruce Mayers transferred ownership rights to the Truesdale Ventures. They then enlisted the services of Thomas Freeman, the renowned designer responsible for the latest generation of the Volkswagen Beetle. The new model is constructed around an aluminum monocoque frame with either a 20 kWh or 40 kWh battery discreetly positioned beneath the carbon fiber body. These battery packs offer a range of approximately 150 or 300 miles and power dual rear-wheel drive motors generating 202 horsepower and achieving a 0-60 to acceleration in 4.5 seconds. The Mayer's Manx 2.0 EV is equipped with rugged tires and boasts independent suspension, utilizing a trailing arm in the front and a multi-link setup in the rear. Legend Signature Series Defender 
This is not the first ever Defender custom built by the Yura based Legend Motor Co. But this project promises to be the most remarkable and the most expensive one in the company's history. Packing nearly every upgrade imaginable, the signature series by Legend starts with a Defender 110 aluminum body made stronger with proprietary Kevlar liner. The chassis of this vintage looking SUV is not a Land Rover at all, as it comes from modern Jeep. The JK chassis is enhanced with four heavy duty Dana 60 axles. ARB air lockers and a coil spring multi-link suspension with Fox 2.5 fully adjustable remote reservoir shocks. The SUV also gets 17-inch steel wheels wearing extra-large 37-inch KM3 mod tires from BF Goodrich. Other exterior mods from Legend include special benching and an easy-to-remove fabric top. As standard, the Defender signature is propelled by GM-sourced LT1 6.2 liter V8 that returns 455 horsepower and 465 pound feet. You can also opt for the LT4 mil, upping the output to 650 HP. Both engines will be linked to an 8 speed automatic transmission and a true 4x4 drive system. The cabin of the Defender arrives with a complete makeover, featuring captain chairs up front, custom gauges, Rusto Mod air climate control and a sound buck Bluetooth stereo system. Icon FJ44 Toyota Land Cruiser Not all the vehicles coming out of California are green, boring and uninspiring. Jonathan and Jamie Ward continue to serve as the sentinels of automotive beauty when they bring back to life the iconic car models of the past. The FG40 Land Cruiser has been their centerpiece restoration project for the past 15 years. And the unit in front of you is the 178th attempt to perfect this SUV. The Icon FG44 was recycled, upcycled and rebuilt in the new school style, featuring Pacific Blue paint, traditional 7-ply insulated black soft top, new headlights and a front bumper with an integrated horn winch. This FJ is powered by a GM LS3 engine and a 4-speed automatic with overdrive. The so-called Icon's recipe tuning gives the smell of 440 horsepower that can be applied to the toughest off-roading conditions, all thanks to the installed Dana axles and Atlas II twin-stick part-time four-wheel drive two-speed transfer case. The interior sits for people on the captain chairs and two more passengers can ride on the rear jump seats. The floor was covered with a cozy carpet, seats are finished with tan leather and there are some clever storage compartments around the cabin. Elvaris Works Land Rover TD4 Land Rovers are still crafted all over the place, including the sunny coast of Portugal. The Alvarez Works Workshop takes the classics and restores them down to the last nut and bolt. At times, the SUV is completely stripped down and rebuilt to the factory new condition, as if the model came down from the conveyor in 2023 and not 40 plus years ago. The beating heart of the vehicle is the TD4 2.4 liter turbo diesel engine that underwent an extensive overhaul. Alvarez Works fitted a new fuel tank, replaced fuel lines, incorporated a larger intercooler and fine-tuned the ECU to elevate both performance and efficiency. What makes the TD4 a modern classic are revamped brakes with a contemporary disc setup featuring cross grilled rotors and new dampers to enhance ride comfort and stability. Its campan has a lustrous, beluga black hand-stitched leather interior and a canvas top, creating an atmosphere of luxury and comfort. Mercedes-Benz G-Class Half a Million Edition The Gallant Wagon has always been an expensive and rather niche product, but this has not stopped its sales numbers from reaching 500,000 units since 1979. To celebrate this milestone, Mercedes released a one-off model designed after one of the earlier versions of the G-Class, specifically the 1986 280G. 
The half a million edition was painted in agave green and rides on the classic looking five spoke brushed aluminum wheels. There is a ladder on the rear for accessing the roof rack, plus inside the seats have retro checkered fabric upholstery. Do you think that it's wrong to cling to the old designs and that we should all embrace futuristic choices of the younger generation of car builders? Which SUVs from the video are your favorite timeless icons? We'll be discussing these questions in the comments below, so join the panel. Watch more reviews of retro cars through the links on the screen, subscribe to Automotive Territory, leave a comment asking for more, and as always, may the torque be with you!